Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So for this month's Dreaming Tree event that we're running in our group UK Cricut Creators, we're going to do this anemone uh, flower vase. I know I just said that wrong. I can't spell it. I can't say it. It is what it is. It's a flower. It's a very beautiful flower and it's a vase. And so that's what we're doing this month. For those of you that don't know, in our group UK Cricket Creators, you don't need to be in the UK. You can be anywhere in the world. Come and join us. And we run about six to eight free virtual events a month. And one of them is always a dreaming tree one. So I won't be showing you how we make this today because Leo has fantastic videos. As you can see, there is actually one for this uh, vase already up. So I will not be doing videos on how you assemble them, but what I am doing for every event is a video on how we bring it into design space, how we make the changes that need making, and then how you can cut so that it's ready. For I will of course link to this file and the bundle file in the description below. So once you've purchased it and you've downloaded it to your computer, you should be able to find it in your downloads. Now I've actually got the bundle file rather than the individual file. So if we go into that, you'll see we've got the anemone, see, can't say it, uh, buttercup and Cosmo. So it's the anemone <laughs> that we want. I'm going to try and limit the amount of times that I have to say that word. So let's double click. And you'll see there's a JPEG file, uh, there's a put together menu, and there's also the SVG. So with Dreaming Tree files, sometimes you'll get two lots of the same file, but they won't be the same. So one will have broken score lines, which are set to cut. And one will have solid score lines, which could either be cut or score depending on um, the file. And you do need to change them to a score if they're not already. This one is broken lines, so I keep them as cut. If you want to change them to score, you can. I cannot see on this, and it might be because I've got the bundle, but I can't see, and I've looked on the other ones as well, anywhere where there could be a solid score file. So from what I can see on this, it is the broken line. I like to highlight each file and then I'm going to copy and paste them across to my pictures so that they're easy for me to find. So if we then go to my pictures, you'll see I've got them all in there. So I've already uploaded most of them. I've got one more to upload. So I'm going to upload image, browse. It's this one here, so I can open that. And it will already have an image name and you want to keep that image name. The only thing I'm going to do is on my tag, I'm going to put an anemone. And I know I'm spelling that wrong, but it, it, I will just leave it like that. And that's because I've obviously got the other two vases as well. So I want to be able to easily find this file. So I'm saving it as a tag of an enemy, but do not change the image name. And if the image name doesn't come in, you really do want to give it the same image name that Dreaming Tree has. I can then select each of those and insert them to my canvas. So if we have a look at each of the individual pieces, so this is, and I'm going to change my settings to inches. So I'm just going to come up to settings and change from metric, which is centimetres, to imperial, which is inches. So that's 5.4 by 6.148, which is perfect for A4. So if you're working in A4, you don't need to change that one. Same with that one, and that one, and that one. That one you can do in A4. And this one here, you're gonna need a 12 by 12, but if you want to change it to A4, you absolutely can. So if I duplicate it, 
And I'm just going to change that duplicate so it's a slightly darker green. I come down to the bottom and I go to my contour. On my first duplicate, I'm going to remove this side of the design. So that will leave me with that one, which is then A4 compatible. And if I then select this one, again, I can go to my contour and I can remove this side of the design. And again, that is then A4. So you can see our score lines here on this layer and you'll see that they're broken and they're currently set to cut. I will keep them as broken cut score lines because I do feel that you get a much better fold. I really do like the fold that you get on the broken score lines if you leave them as a cut. If you want to change them to a score, you simply select the score lines and change the line type to score. But of course they are broken, so it's gonna take the exact amount of time. As I say, in that bundle, I couldn't find the solid line files. That doesn't mean there isn't one in the single ones. So if there is, have a look, and if you want to do a solid score line, then do so. But these are broken and I'm going to keep them as cuts. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet that you're going to need. But again, we can amend it to A4 if we want to. So again, if I just duplicate that and I bring them side by side at the moment, if I select the first one, I can ungroup it. And I'm actually going to select the actual file, not... So I'm going to select the outline cuts, not the score cuts, and I'm going to go to contour. And I'm just going to contour away those bits. And then I'm going to select the cut lines that are score lines and go to contour. And I can then remove those as well. And of course you can zoom in to make it easier. I'm then going to highlight and I'm going to attach those score lines, which are cut lines, to those base cuts. And that is now A4 size. So now we can work on this one. So again, we need to ungroup it, select the base layer first and go to contour. And this time we're going to contour out those two pieces. We can then select the cut lines, which are score lines and go to contour. Again, you can zoom right in. And I find it's probably easier because there's a lot of lines on this one. If you hide all contours, it will remove all of them but one. And that one is always at the top there. And I can bring back those ones rather than trying to remove all those other ones. And we've then got our school lines where they should be. If we draw around it all, again, it's then perfect for A4 and we can attach those cut lines, which are score lines, to the base cut. So same with this one, it's just a little bit big for A4. For 12 by 12, you'll be absolutely fine. But again, if you want to A4, we are just going to duplicate it. With this one, we're going to ungroup, select the base file and go to contour. And I'm just going to remove that one there. I can then select the cut lines, which are score lines. And I can contour out that last section there. Then all I need to do is draw around those two. Check they're going to be OK for A4, which they are, and then attach them together. And then exactly the same with this last one, ungroup it. Select the base layer, contour, contour those two out. I know many people will be saying, well, why don't you just slice? So if I just get a box here and I select the cut lines, which are score lines, and I hold my control key down and select the square, 
you'll see it won't let me slice them. It will not allow you to slice out these lines. So you do have to do it with your contour tool. So I can then select contour. And again, rather than removing all of those, if I just hide all contours, I then only need to bring back this one. And as always, you'll see there's one left at the top and we can see it's actually on this one. So we don't need to remove it manually. So we've got our last one here. And again, that's just a little bit big for A4, fine for 12 by 12. So again, if you want to change that to A4, we can duplicate it. We're going to ungroup that first one, select the base and go to contour. And I'm just going to take out those last two and then remove those cut lines, which are score lines. Just check that that is going to fit A4, which it is. So I can then attach those. And then the same with this one, ungroup. Click the base layer and contour. And I'm going to contour out those first three. And then, of course, I can do the cut lines, which are score lines, or the score lines, which are cut lines. And then, of course, we're just going to attach those together. So if we look at them, this one here and this one here, those are the outside of your vase. So that's the pattern paper that you're going to use. These darker ones are your actual vase itself. And then, of course, we've got our flowers, our leaves and our flower stamens. So you can then go and cut those out. And of course, I'm doing them in whatever colours I'll do them in. And if you find it easier, you can change them to the colours that you're going to work with. So say you want a, I don't know, a blue flower, you can change that to blue so that you know you're going to cut that out in blue cardstock, for example. And nice and easy this one to change up doesn't take a lot of work at all you just have to be a bit methodical about it as i say if you do find a solid score line file then it's up to you if you want to keep it as a solid score line then do so i'm going to cut them as broken cuts because i just think i get a much neater fold as always thank you so much for watching we can't wait to see you at the event if you're attending and we'll see you all again soon bye